Where do you think the biggest holes in the system are in the housing? I, I, I believe that uh, one of the big holes has been that we had this fragmented uh, commission form of government. City of Portland is renewing a nearly decade-old housing emergency for another three years. This in spite of barriers slowing down housing production. K2's Emily Gersh is live at City Hall after digging into the numbers for us. And Emily, how many new units has Portland built so far this year? Well, Steve, so far the Portland Housing Bureau has built 479 units and an additional 56 units are expected to be complete by the end of the year. Still, 500 units is a small fraction compared to what the governor is asking for. That does seem like a lot, but it's what we need. So we're actually already behind. <laughs> In 2022, Governor Tina Kotek set a statewide housing goal of building 36,000 new units each year for the next decade. In order to meet that goal, Portland would have to build about 6,000 units a year to catch up with increasing homeless numbers. The Housing Bureau says they'll have 535 units ready for move-in by the end of the year, but that's a small fraction of 6,000. My knee-jerk reaction is like, yes, we need that. and. Um, we really need to get our systems optimized so that we can try and meet that goal. Commissioner Carmen Rubio says permitting processes that were fractioned across multiple bureaus and under different commissioners were stalling progress. Earlier this year, council passed a policy to consolidate them under one authority. And I'm really hoping that with a change in form of government that we see some ability to hasten that progress and have more authority uh, to implement and get things done. Commissioner Mingus Maps agrees too much red tape is one thing. In terms of the short term things that we can do, uh, we can make it easier to build in Portland. He says another is Portland's current impression to outsiders as a desirable place to build. One of the reasons uh, that Portland is in the high housing crisis right now is folks who make investments in building are frankly afraid of Portland. And that comes down to our livability problems, our public safety problems. So City Hall has to get those right in order to turn our reputation around. Now, despite falling short of the governor's goals, the Portland Housing Bureau says it's exceeded the goals it set for itself, and more than 700 units are currently under construction. We're live in downtown Portland. Emily Gersh, K2 News. Emily, thank you.